Hey guys, what's going on? So today we got an Amazon package. Um, I've had a good mechanical switch keyboard now for a little over a year, maybe even longer than that. And I haven't cleaned it that entire time. So, you know, stuff falls in, especially these beard hairs. I'm constantly picking beard hairs off keyboards. It's nice on my Apple Magic keyboard that I use for work because there's nothing to like fall into and you can just pff, and get rid of it. Regular, more traditional keyboard, not not the greatest thing for cleaning right so there's traditional methods you can get like a q-tip or something and get in there and clean it out there's the compressed air you know you can turn upside down and freeze stuff and has that bitter end that just gets on your hands and whole oh, tastes horrible um i've always liked this thing when i saw it on amazon and we're gonna open it today Get my uh, Jerry Rig Everything red box knife. I've got three of these now. He just came out with a clear one today. So of course, I originally had the blue and then I ordered the red. And now I had to get the clear because Zach Nelson is an evil, evil man. These things are great. I'm sure you've watched some of his videos on YouTube. Uh, really good knife. Just, it, it's so easy to mess up a utility blade, a utility knife, and like, he's just made this nice one. It's got this nice pattern that has a decent grip. It's a little slippery, but it has a nice grip. It feels nice because it is a little slippery feeling. And then it's just, it's so solid. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. Just love that thing. So we'll go ahead and open this up. I apologize if that sounded horrible on the microphone. Made in the USA with domestic and foreign content. Ooh. This product can expose you to chemicals including carbon black 133-86-4 and or cumene 98-82-8, which are known by the state of California to be horribly evil. Anyway, apparently it's got a Prop 65 warning on it. So it looks like this is stapled. There we go. Like we've got a drinking straw from the 90s, a brush, and a cone torture device. A data vac. Kind of has got the retro typing there. Micro cleaning toolkit instructions. Yada, yada, yada. Micro crevice tool, flex neck extension. I guess that's the, the 90s drinking straw. And then we have a micro dusting brush to flex neck wand. Micro cleaning tools can be used for suction or blowing applications on all metro data vac or electric duster models. So this doesn't actually suck. This just blows. That sounded like a terrible review. It literally blows. It does not suck like Kirby. Looks like we've got some other kind of attachment doohickey there. There's a lot of stuff in this box. We've got little tutes, less instructions. I don't speak French. It appears that whole thing is in French. Parlez-vous français? No. I speak a little bit of a lot of stuff, but nothing fluent. Definitely not French. Est-ce que vous comprenez le français? That's like all I know. Or what was the thing the Muzzy commercial used to say? Uh, I am a small girl. Je suis la jeune vie. I'm sure I botched that. There is another attachment in the box. So throw that in there. Got a decent length power cord. Just nice. So how are you guys doing today? I've had a pretty good day. The sun came out. It's been raining for like a week. It snowed earlier in the week. Um... We've got right at or below freezing. And I've got, you know, my seedlings going here that I'm trying to keep warm. It's Thursday when I'm recording this. We're headed to 83 and 84 Fahrenheit this weekend. Pretty great. I'm just gonna rip this thing because this is taking too long. But I hope you guys are doing really good. I, uh, I found that I'm a much more positive person since I quit my job of almost 16 years. And started at this new place two months ago today. It's, things are just, I don't know. It's nice working for a company that actually treats you like a human being. And trusts you. And gives you the freedom to like do your job. I'm not going to promote the company, but you can 
probably find it easy enough. It's really good company. For the first time in my life, I wake up and I actually want to do my job. It's kind of weird. I'm in like the dream phase. All right. So let's take a look at this here real quick. Datavac Electric Duster. Live green, stay green. I will say this thing is heavy. This is like... It's some kind of plastic, I think. Or it's plasticized metal, maybe. I'm not quite sure. It's got a little foam thing down here. I'm assuming that's the air intake. It's uh, screwed together quite well. To reduce electric shock. Do not use outdoors. Um, no, it's really solid. This almost feels like ceramic, and that does sound metallic. But I think the body itself is some kind of plastic, and then this maybe is a ceramic coat. I'm guessing that's the power button. All right, let's get the little nozzle on here. So it's got that little locking nub. Aha. Uh -huh. That's nice. So there we go. Let's find us a smaller one here. What do you say? What do you say? Okay, I got it. I jammed something on there. That's probably not the best attachment. Where with me? There we go. So this one actually has the little doodad there for that. So let's do this. I was hoping for a satisfying click, but we didn't get one. I'd say that looks pretty good, yeah? Let's plug this in. All right, got some pine needles here. Let's see if it'll blow it out of my hand. The cable's a little tangled yet. Oh, that's satisfying. I would say that went about six feet. <laughs> so let me show you the keyboard. <laughs> I love this keyboard. Uh, I've got MX Browns in here, I think. I think this is my one with Browns. I'm 97% this has Browns. I love them. Like, isn't that just satisfying? I don't know how well you're going to see it here, but I can certainly see what looks like tons of beard skin. There is a giant beard hair. If you're eating, please look away. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to show you the keyboard. Again, uh, there might be some gross stuff here. I don't know how well it's coming across, but like there's a hair right there. There's tons of skin down in here. Yeah, gross, right? This thing holds on to dry skin and flakes everywhere. So let's get this here. <laughs> here goes nothing. Normally I like to take some keys off when I do this, but I didn't want to lose a key or something down under the deck and then have to tear boards up. So. Almost looks brand new there's still some in there but that was what I don't know 15 seconds something like that tell me in the comments on the timestamp there I will say this has a decidedly industrial smell I tell you what it smells like you know when you go to get new tires and you're sitting there and there's like this mystery chemical aroma in the uh, waiting area of like Goodyear or Firestone or whatever that's exactly what this smells like I will say though, this is quite warm. You saw how long how long I ran that for, and that's already getting hot. But since it is this metal, it it's at least getting the heat out. 
Um, I can actually see some of the skin on my glass glasses now. The neighbor is uh, quite old and watching me like I'm insane because I don't think he realizes this is a camera. I'm going to just go at this again real quick. I know we're at 10 minutes. I'm going to wrap this up here in a second. That's coming out with enough force that it's actually activating the keys. There's a hair that's cut kind of really good. Um, I don't know how well you saw this earlier, but I mean, that is so much cleaner. That is ridiculous. This thing I think was close to like a hundred bucks. I didn't pay that much, but it was, it was up there. It was definitely north of 50 and closer to a hundred than 50, but I am severely satisfied with that. Uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and give you some B-roll here on the outro, showing you this thing. Again, it's the Datavac Electric Duster. If it holds up, I I love this thing. Or is it worth cleaning the keyboard once a year? I don't know, but I'll find some uses for this thing, I'm sure. Um, as a matter of fact, I may run the extension cord out to my car and, and clean it out there. And obviously you could open up your computer case you definitely want to hold the fans in place. You want it unplugged and you want to hold the fans in place. You do not want to let the fans spin to destroy the bearing. And you could clean that out or just clean the case out. I think this thing's great. Um, yeah, so let's get some B-roll. Pretty dang cool, and now I'm covered with dirt and pine needles. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy my uh, Patreon patron here, James Greason. Thanks again for being a $10 guy. Uh, you guys check out the Patreon, check out the comments. I'll link to this, or the description, I guess. Anyway, I'm out of here.